is he's a spread quarterback. And that's why I can tell you right now, this is not going to work. This offense in Robert Griffin III will not work. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. He's a spread quarterback. He operates the best when he's in a spread situation. So when you look at right here, this is a spread situation. Stop. Six guys in the box. This is kind of what he had in college. Shotgun, this is versus the Baltimore Ravens. This is actually the play he got hurt of. Only four guys rush. So now his pocket awareness is, his instincts are, he can see the guy blitzing and coming, and he escapes around, he does what he does, and yes, at the end of the play here, Lori Nada hurts him on that particular play. But that's why his pocket awareness is, is, is okay in that situation. Now you got eight guys in the box. Mm. Now it's a spaghetti salad right there in front of you. I got all these bodies. He's trying to look down the field. He's not seeing things. Also, his depth is different. And so my whole point is, is when you look at this is not an area where he's comfortable at. And that's the reason why I just don't believe it. Because for some reason we keep forgetting. He is a spread quarterback. And the teams that have come to meet the spread quarterbacks where they are, are more successful. Carolina Panthers, what they've done with Cam. They do some traditional things, but they do a lot of spread concepts. What we're seeing with Marcus Mariota, Kenny Woodson, a traditional drop back guy. What is he doing? He's crap. He's, he's catering his offense to meet Marcus Mariota in the middle. That's how you're successful. Jay Gruden, for some reason, is saying, we're going to do it my way, and that's how we're going to do it, and that's why RG3 in that offense is not going to work. It's a great point, Dukes.